Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about Pinterest marketing for bloggers and Instagrammers. So I would say bloggers and Instagrammers are one of the best groups for Pinterest marketing. And the reason why is because you share content all the time, you share content frequently, you write new blog posts, you post on Instagram every single day, sometimes even several times during the day. So you create a lot of content. So how does it help with Pinterest? Pinterest is a virtual search engine. So the more content you have, the bigger the audience you can attract from Pinterest to your blog or to your Instagram account. That's why creating a lot of content is very, very important because you reach more people with wider selection of content. Contrary to what you guys are doing, if you took a look at uh, like people who have a funnel, uh, who have just like running ads to, to a webinar, um, those people don't have a lot of content. Then just they just send to a webinar from a webinar, like they get the, the email address and then they send the, the email blast. That's it. They don't create content. All they do is sending content through email. So that's completely different. Uh, with you, people find you through your content and they either follow you on Instagram or they uh, follow your blog, subscribe to your newsletter or on your blog. So that's why it's a very good idea to drive traffic from Pinterest to your blog or to your Instagram account. Now, if you are a blogger, you can, for each of your blog posts, you can create three, four, five different looking pins with a very enticing blog title, um, call to action, and make sure that people want to check out your post, that it's valuable information, that it's going to help them. So the more value content you provide, the bigger amount of people is going to find you on Pinterest and go there. Now, when you are creating your Pinterest account, you have to be very, um, very focused on who are you talking to? Who is your ideal audience? Who are you targeting? What type of information they're going to search? So let's say if you are um, if you are a lawyer and you have a law, blog about um, I don't know let's say you're an immigration lawyer and you have all sorts of immigration types of of blog posts on your on your blog. What kind of information people are searching for? How to fill out a form or how to do this kind of visa or how to do this and how to do that? This kind of information. This is what you should put on your pin so that people when they see. Uh, that's exactly what that that uh, that your post is going to be exactly what they are searching for. They are not going to find on, look on Pinterest or look for lawyers Miami or lawyers New York. They're going to look for information. Once they found the information, they look for who provided this information, whose website they're on, uh, where this person is located, what is their price range, right? So they find you through the content, and then they may want to work with you. So that's why if you have a blog or blog section on your website, it's very important that you know who your audience is. Is your, if your blog is like a beauty blog or like a fashion blog, exactly the same. You create content around what people are searching for. So on Pinterest, it's super easy to find out uh, what are people searching for currently or what, what are the volume searches per month for certain keywords. So you can target those keywords. Now, the, another important factor is you need to curate audience. You need to have audience that's going to engage with your content. So only people who have boards where they could save their content to, if they don't have boards that they will be able to save their content to, they're not going to save their content, right? If you are all about like fashion, <laughs> people don't have fashion boards, they don't say nothing fashion, they're not supposed to be your followers because they're not going to, to engage. So you have to be very, very cautious. Only engage with people, follow people who have boards that are fashion related. They're, it's very easy, it's very simple to find it on Pinterest. If you, if you don't know how, you can take my course and you'll get all the know-how, all the step-by-step -step instruction how to do everything. I have Pinterest training where I teach people step-by-step -step how to grow their Pinterest account from zero to sending 10,000 people. It's not science fiction, it's really not. Uh, but the information out there, it's a lot of information is completely, I don't know where those people already take this information from, but it's completely not true. And uh, if you look at blogs that create like, have like million people kind of coming from Pinterest to their sites, it's usually blogs that already are there for like five, six years, that uh, they have very well performing pins, that already have hundreds of thousands of followers. So don't think about having million people coming from Pinterest to your site. 
don't think about it uh, like that don't if, if you have a food blog also it's a big competition out there there's a lot of searches like millions of searches per month for food but there's a big competition so anything else that you're doing getting like 10,000 people from Pinterest to your blog is additional way to to gain more traffic for Instagrammers the same when 10,000 people hit your Instagram page because they liked some of your photos and they see that your feed is cohesive it's similar photos and they like it they're gonna become your followers so you can imagine if 10,000 people hit your site from Pinterest your Instagram page you'll probably get around 10,000 people following you because if they like it they follow like if you are a uh, full-blown Instagrammer, you add pictures all the time, your pictures are awesome, you use all these filters that make those pictures pretty, they are going to follow you. If you are an Instagrammer who have 300 followers, it means that you are not uh, not posting daily, you are not posting good quality content, or maybe you just started out. But if you have thousands of followers, imagine having 10,000 and 10,000 and 1,000 more every single month just because people find you through Pinterest and the better content you have, the the, the content if they, they engage people more on Pinterest, you're gonna get maybe 20,000 or even more with time. And once you apply the, the tips that I teach you in the Pinterest training, you're going to get 10,000 people month after month after month for years to come. In my situation, I applied those tips two years ago and since then I haven't had less than 10,000 people on my blog, usually it's around 20,000 people coming from Pinterest to my blog. So you can optimize it. It's uh, it's not hard, uh, uh, like science fiction, nothing like that. You can definitely do it. And if you are interested to get some free tips because maybe you are not willing to, uh, to grow your business or you are willing to just check out what it is that I teach and whether it works. So you can get a free trial sort of thing. You can get a free five tips that I give you and you will see with those five tips, if you apply them, you're gonna get better traffic. If you see that it works and you decide that, okay, those, those things works, I want to know what she teaches, her step-by-step -step process, then you can take my, my Pinterest training course and you'll learn everything I do step-by-step -step about and you'll learn about everything about Pinterest that's really, really important. So you don't waste time on, on applying things that doesn't really matter or you don't do things that are completely wrong and stupid and are going to, to tank your reach. So if you want to avoid making stupid mistakes and killing your, your account, then Pinterest training is definitely for you. But make sure to subscribe to the newsletter so you get the five tips. You can check it out. It's going to come every day for five days. You're going to get a tip from me. Uh, those are very easy to apply tips that you can apply right there and you will see your your account is going to grow fast okay thank you so much and if you're a blogger instagram make sure you are on pinterest it's definitely gonna help you it's definitely gonna bring you traffic thank you guys bye bye